Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing a full review of the 2012 Apple TV with 1080p. Now, this thing does retail for $99, not a bad price at all, and as you can tell it has a very nice design, very small package, and compared to an iPhone 5, you can tell that this thing is a very small package, and it's pretty thin, not as thin as iPhone 5 of course, but it does have the power connector there on the left side it has an hdmi port and an hdmi cable does not come included with this so keep that in mind it does have an optical audio slot and also an ethernet port now looking at the remote control of this apple tv you can tell that apple does go for the very minimalistic design it has just a few buttons there and it does fit in the palm of your hand very thin and the batteries last a very long time on the remote control and obviously you can go up and down and uh, select stuff and you can also move the icons around on the screen here just by holding the middle button and moving them wherever you want to fit your desires now it does have a very cool interface for renting and buying movies you can rent movies for pretty much five bucks in HD and um, buying movies obviously depends on the price of the movie and it has a very nice interface you can also see Rotten Tomato reviews and you can also use your iPhone as a remote control for this because if you're going to be typing in some text to like say enter your iTunes account and password this um, the remote control that they provide with it can be very tedious but you can use your iPhone and your iPad as a remote control and it does this wirelessly over your internet and it makes it much easier and much quicker to type in text this is an example of using the remote as you can tell it would be pretty damn tedious to use that thing you can also use this as an airplay device so as you can tell right here I am uh, wirelessly pushing the content on my iPad and mirroring it to the Apple TV so that is a really cool and awesome thing that you can do with the Apple TV and AirPlay mirroring now the next thing we're gonna be looking at is the interface it's very simple and very elegant it's very easy to find everything on the Apple TV and find the content that you want to watch of course you can browse through Netflix Hulu Plus and there are things that are going to be added in the future because Apple wirelessly adds new content to this thing you don't have to update it to get the new things so guys what do I think of this I think it's well worth it I think the price is great for nine nine dollars you get all of this stuff and it's updated regularly it's very affordable for the price and i think an app store is going to come in the future i hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe thank you for watching